Here's how to hack the top three easiest ports. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Number one, remote desktop protocol. Hacking services running on ports can be fun. Let's try connecting. We type in our desktop, provide the IP address, and hit enter. Here we have the remote login screen, so we know for a fact that the service exists and is currently exposed to the public internet. If you have more than one target, Metasploit is a good choice for checking the entire range of IPs that you have. We fire up MSF console, use the auxiliary module, and under that go for scanner, RDP, RDP scanner, and once selected, we look at the options available to us. We're going to set the R hosts, provide the range that we have, and once done, we simply hit enter. And there you have it. We see that one machine in the entire range has RDP running. Upon verifying that RDP is running, you can also attempt a brute force or dictionary attack with a list of usernames and passwords with tools like Crowbar, Hydra, Potato, and others. However, beware that attempting online dictionary or brute force attacks can cause lockouts, which translates into service disruption. And that is not going to make your client very happy. So be sure you adhere to the rules of engagement and the scope of work agreed upon and conduct the test wisely. For a dictionary attack, we fire up Hydra, dash L to provide the username Chad, a capital P to provide the path of the password list, and provide the name of the protocol, RDP, and hit enter. We got it. Now let's test the credentials by logging in. Chad is a username, enter the password, and we're in. We can even do a who am I and verify who we're logged in as. Number two, FTP. It's one of the worst protocols to have enabled on your network, especially the public facing IPs. It's clear text, so no encryption, and generally not a good idea to have enabled. The same applies for any clear text protocol, TFTP, Telnet, and others. There are two ways to go about it. You can either attempt to log in with the dictionary attacks with a list of usernames and passwords, or you can attempt a man in the middle attack where you sniff traffic. Now, the second option does require that you be on the same network, because if you're not on the same network, you can sniff all you want, but you're not gonna get anywhere with it. So for option one, let's use MSF this time. We load up the module, provide the list of usernames, or in our case, a single username, Chad, Provide the path for the password file. Set the remote host, that is our target. Ensure that it stops the attack once the correct credentials are required. That would be stop on success, set to true. And let's do this. We run the module. We got a match. Now to test the credentials, we can see that they're working and we're in. We saved the best for last, web hacking related HTTP, and that is number three. Again, for a man-in-the-middle attack, you have to be on the same network. It's the same as trying to listen in on a conversation, which requires that you be in the same room where the conversation is taking place. You can use Burp as a proxy to capture and modify requests and manipulate them depending on your goal. Or you can use Wireshark to capture packets and look at the entire conversation and search for valuable nuggets. And finally, always choose the ethical route when hacking.